All right, so this is my first video for the blog. Um, I'll try not to keep adding videos because they take a lot of memory, and um, the blog is kind of limited. I know the sound is really low, and I don't know how to fix that, so sorry about that. I want to show how to copy code, especially from my blog, but also if you find Lisp code from um, from the internet, how do you save that? Uh, I got a, a question about that the other day, and the best way of explaining it is to actually show you. So here I have um, AutoCAD opening, or opened, and let's go to my blog, and here is um, an auto list routine that connects um, endpoints of lines, um, arcs, uh, polylines, whatever, and makes it easily into one um, polyline. So what I do is I go down here to the, um, to the actual code, and I hover my cursor over um, these icons that pop up. The left one, view source, is actually the better one to use. Um, copy to clipboard. Um, whenever you see a line of code, like this is a line, and this is a line, and this is a line, and you see the lines next to it, they're numbered one, two, three, etc. So what you want to do is use the view source, or yeah, the view the source, because that keeps the lines um, separated for you. So I'm going to click on view source, and you see that all the lines are separated for you, and um, I'm going to activate, I'm just going to click within here, I'm going to do a control C for copy, Ooh, actually, control A to highlight everything, control C to copy to the clipboard. Um, I have notepad, I have a little icon um, pinned to the taskbar, um, so I'm just going to open up notepad. Um, the cursor is flashing, so now I do a control V, and it kept all the line breaks, and that's what we want. Now I'm going to do a save, or a file, save, and the first thing I do in here is I change the type. Right now it's defaulted to a text, a .txt file. I want to save it as a .lsp file. That makes it a Lisp file. So I click on all files, and I'm going to name it. I'm going to name this Lisp routine the name of um, the command that starts it. So right next to this defun is a C. Uh, going the e g uh, e j a is the command to start the um, the Lisp routine. So I'm going to do e g a dot l s p. Hit save. Boom. Oh, I'm going to save it to the desktop. I hit save. I'm going to minimize everything else and check my desktop. And there it is on the bottom left for me. All right. So this is. Um, this isn't like the real way to to load a Lisp routine, but it works. So once you find something online and you want to test it, this is a way to test it. I'm going to open AutoCAD. I'm open up the desktop file. So um, if you just click on um, the folder to open up to browse your uh, your computer, go to desktop. That's where I saved it. I scroll down. I see EJA Lisp and it says .lsp, so it is a list file. I'm going to double click on it just to open up, making sure, make sure it's fine. This is a, a, the getaway of loading your list routine. Just click and drag it into your drawing, and you should see it down here. It says EJA to start. So I'm going to actually try it. I have um, a drawing open. This is actually the Cosmopolitan in Las Vegas. Um, my job right now is to clean up this drawing. Uh, up here, I made a little simple triangle. Um, it's just three lines. I'm going to do E, J, A to start. I'm going to click on one of the lines of the triangle. And now they're all polylines. That's how I find list routines online. Save it to a, a notepad file and then test it out real quick. That's, that's an easy way to do it. Um, I will show you another time how to uh, use the Lisp editor that is within um, AutoCAD. And just to be real quick, um, there's two commands to start it, vlide um, or vlisp. Um, that one's easier to remember for me. So I just do vlisp in the command line, hit enter, 
and all of a sudden the Visual Lisp editor opens up. This is another way, this is a great tool. You have to learn how to use this if you're going to learn Lisp routines for the future. Thanks.